Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Beautiful Joe. In the last episode, we started episode two, some like a red hot. And we went through some of the town and learned our final ability after beating Captain Blue, which was the zoom in on ability, which she zooms in and does all kinds of cool little stuff. And then we went through the sewers and went on to the other side and had to fight a couple of helicopters and jump over chasms on a bus. And now we're entering this big, huge building. So let's continue on and let's see what we can do to power up. Maybe we can learn a new ability, a new move. Or, oh yeah. I, want, I was trying to do that. So, oh, it's uh, around the ground. Okay, this is what I wanted to do. I, I'm gonna learn Red Hot Kick, because Red Hot Kick's awesome. And if you do mock speed, um, you can also do that. Let's do our Black Gauge Ghost on the one too, so. And I think that's good for now. Because I want to eventually learn all the abilities, beautiful forever and all that kind of stuff. But let's power, let's move on. Let's move into this big huge building and see what we can do. Is Sylvia in this big huge building? Let's find out. And let's see what the director says too. That's nice of me. And now we're in Rhino Hotel. That gives you an idea of what the next boss is gonna be, but let's see what the director says, because you know we're in a new area now. Let's take a break. Hey, I thought you were supposed to say something else. So let's take a break. Let's take a break. I guess not. But we got the. Uh, we start off with immediately the, one of the ballerina uh, enemies, the, the cowboy enemy. Yeah, they're going to start throwing some crazy stuff, uh, combinations of enemies at you. It, 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 it starts getting a little bit tougher, but uh, I'm, I'm playing on kids mode for the sake of the LP. Just think about this on a uh, adult mode. It's not the same. It's not the. It's, uh, it's the same amount of enemies. Just enemies are like twice as hard to defeat. All the enemies have way more HP. That's not the only difference. Is that everything just is harder to harder to defeat. And Beautiful Joe 2 is gonna be fun too. Cause I'm playing. That's playing Beautiful Joe 2 also. And just show you what it's like to be, because it's been no Beautiful Joe 3. What it's like to have no Beautiful Joe 2. Because, be no Beautiful Joe 3. And see, what, I'll show you what it's like to have the uh, cliffhanger at the end of Beautiful Joe 2. You know, so. Let's see why it's sad enough to have a Beautiful Joe 3. So they can't get in there right now, so. So what we gotta do, I believe, is get on top of the chandelier. And see that button up there? We gotta get on here and push that button. That'll drop the other two chandeliers. Uh, let's see, let's go left first. Let's see what's over here. I, I think the way you're supposed to go is right. I believe, yeah. But let's go left first because there might be something interesting over here for all we know. Actually, we kind of needed to go this way because we kind of need that crystal to move on. And you'll see why in just a second. Kind of like a me lock mechanism. And we need that one too, so. See why like that? So we, need, we always just need that one. But I think you can only, you can only what sucks is that you have to go up here twice anyway because you can only carry one at a time, so. So let's grab that one and put it in, and that opens up the elevator so we can actually go up the elevator a little bit more, so. Let's take I really thought the director said something else, but I guess I'm wrong. And you would think there would be a fight in the elevator, but there's not, but there's a fight in here. So what we gotta do is... Find the key, but what we gotta do here is get on the platform, uh, or slow down time to get on the platform. And then hit the uh, chandelier, which will knock the key down. And opens up this door with some enemies. There are more basic enemies. We're not, I think there's not going to be too many more new enemies being introduced right now. We'll have some more new enemies later, like later acts. But for now, there's all the enemies. The last new enemy we get to this area, I think, is Girl Cops. We'll get some tougher enemies as time goes along and all that kind of stuff. But right now, Oh, we actually, we do get a new enemy here. The Samurai. 
And, it's, and they're not too much harder. They, they just, um, you gotta be... Pay attention to them. Because, yeah. They can, they can, well, they can block your attacks like that just like you just saw there. And with that, you pick up the books. And you put it in there. Which will open up a new passageway. Oh! No, you, you do you get on top of the bookshelf and you do that to get out of here and go into a bathroom, you know, in the bathroom. I know what's behind the staircase, but I guess I was wrong. Now we got up in here more cowboys. Now, now they're now they're really starting to exploit your um all of your uh, abilities, so. Let's take a break. Now, this, this might be a little bit dangerous because you couldn't really see what was going on because the door. So what you gotta do here is beat that and then here, just oh, let's get all these beat uh, these B chips first. Yes, that's what they're called. And see the little crack on the bottom? Boom! Through there like that. And we got another little samurai enemy. Nothing to it. And just go through this door. Alright, now here we have to beat all these enemies and get the key in a certain, uh, in a certain amount of time. You're actually kind. Because, uh, you got the, uh, barrel getting close to the, uh, Let's just use the uh, speed up ability a little bit. <laughs> you have to defeat the enemies in a certain amount of time or else that uh, barrel will crush you. And that will not be good. And I, I think you lose a life. So you have to defeat all the enemies in a certain amount of time before the barrel gets to you. So these are the last two. That one had the key. You can imagine that, that can be a little tricky on hard mode, on adult mode. And that just leads to another elevator, which you can get back on up to the next area. Let's take a break. Now here, you need to uh, slow down the time and use it to blow up this wall right here so you can get through. So basically the same thing here, but this time you got enemies to deal with. So. The best thing to do here first is to get rid of the enemies first. Before you try to blow up that wall. So. You can also use some of your own bombs if you wanted to, but if you want to save your. Oh, we, got, we do have new enemies here. They're football enemies. They're not too much harder than the regular enemies, just they got more defense because they got football helmets and stuff on. So. So now we got rid of all the enemies and knocked that toward the wall. And boom, there we go. Now we can get through. Now, this, now we got a girl cop here who has the key to whatever we need to do. That's an fight just like Captain Blue. So if you fought Captain Blue like three times, it doesn't get any... You'll be familiar with this fight. Okay? So now here you got a key, but what to do with it? Now here you gotta... Now this can, can be quite tricky. You have to knock, uh, knock the bomb up into the air to make sure it hits that little thing up there. So... You have to do this kind of quick. There we go. Just like that. And that's actually the way out. We gotta go get the key first. Or else we would never get out. And now you got lasers and samurais to, uh, samurais to deal with. So. This isn't quite the easiest in the world. Is it hard? Not exceptionally. There's gonna be levels that's gonna be quite harder here before long. But 
This is where the challenge starts ramping up just a little bit. If you don't know what you're doing, uh, this can actually kick your ass. Now here you need to speed up so you can mark the uh, bomb. So you can get through there and go wee! And that's the only way you can do that. You have to make sure you speed up so you can set yourself on fire so you can like the whip of that bomb. And that's where you go to get to the, the elevator. So that's where the key goes. Alright. And now the same thing here again. You have to make sure all the enemies... But this, the thing with this one is that this uh, barrel goes a lot faster than uh, the other one. And there's a lot more enemies to deal with, so you're going to have to be quicker. And you got football head and enemies too. Football head! Alright. And now we got one more enemy to deal with, which is this cowboy guy. Come on, cowboy guy, make a quick, please. Oh, this is going to be cutting it close. Uh, uh, there we go. Whew, got it. That was close. That actually was really close. Because uh, the thing about that narrow hallway is that the uh, western guy likes to uh, jump around a whole lot. Made it harder to hit him. Let's just do this for one. Whee! Selfie! Yeah, that's what I named it. Uh, well, that's what I named episode 3 Selfie. Because it looks like Joe's taking a selfie. You know, same thing here, just push, uh, jump up in the air and close, zoom in to uh, close up, which will knock, uh, which you will fall down to hit that switch. I wish I remember what to do. Alright. Yeah, now we gotta find the key again. So, oh, we got the uh, Joker guy again. So, okay. But this time he's the only thing that's a little bit harder now is the after the actual But throws the key in at the beginning, I think. Yeah, he starts throwing the coins in immediately. Which can kind of screw you up. But ultimately to uh, do it, you still got to uh, Beat him to get the key to control it. And most of the time, what he, what he throws to is he shoots the uh, when he throws the coin in. He throws the missiles in, like you saw missiles there. So let's get our usual stuff. Coins. Mmm, coins. Let's get our burger. Oops, that was not what I wanted. Oops. Burger. Oh. That was my fault. I'm gonna get our burger. 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 Hey! Burger. 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 Let's get our burger. Then let's get our coin or whatever to move on. Ah! There we go. And it a stack of books. Gee, I wonder what you do with this stack of books. Actually, what do you do with this stack of books? Oh, you put them over here. Duh. Would you move that all the way? Which we now we can get in a little bit closer. Now we gotta go down here. Oh, gee, I wonder what we do here. There was a arrows pointing down. Boom! Through here. Let's take a break. And here's our key to the elevator. 
Now all you gotta do here is... Uh, you gotta double jump. Alright, this is kinda tricky. You gotta double jump, zoom out, and then jump again. Or you can do that. <laughs> Just jump on the table and then double jump and you can barely make it. I forgot about that too. Alright. So, I think it's a good place to stop because the next it's going to be the boss. And this boss is a little bit harder than Charles III. I ain't going to beat him fast as Charles III. So, we're going to end it here. When we come back, we're going to take on the boss of this area. See if he tells us anything new about Sylvia and what the hell is going on and all that kind of stuff. So, y'all have a good day. I'll see y'all next time on Let's Play Beautiful Joe. This is DKS3 of the Crazy Gamer, signing out.